A huge update is coming from the political realm of the USA and Canada. As Donald Trump recently shocked the entire world with his statement. This is really very serious folks. And no matter if you live in the USA or Canada, you just cannot ignore his statement. For those who think this is a clickbait video, I request you to kindly watch this video until the very end. Because half knowledge is more dangerous than the whole truth. Now coming back to the topic, folks, Donald Trump recently uploaded a shocking picture on his truth account and the entire world is talking about it. As you can see, Donald Trump uploaded a picture with the Canadian flag. He wrote, Oh Canada. This image was generated with the help of an artificial intelligence tool. But this is literally very strange folks that a world leader, the most powerful leader of the most powerful country would post such an image. Not just that, during a recent meeting with Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, he also made a shocking statement that led everyone to an awkward situation at the dining table. For those who don't know about his statement, let me tell you. US President-elect Donald Trump in a meeting with Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau suggested that Canada could become the 51st state of the US if tariffs cripple it. To this, many around the table filled with oysters and cocktails, laughed nervously. This was part of Trudeau's unscheduled drop by to the US after Trump doubled down on tariffs against Canada. The meeting was held at Mare Lego, the president-elect's Florida resort. Folks, you will be shocked to know that right after this conversation, hit the mainstream media. People started wondering whether Donald Trump was serious or just joking. However, Public Safety Minister Dominic Lepnik, who was with Trudeau at the intimate dinner at Mare Lego, said Trump's quip was clearly a joke and not a signal of a serious plan to annex Canada. But what is the truth? Recently, Elon Musk, who boldly supported Donald Trump during his election campaign, also posted a picture that said, I love Canada. So is this all interconnected with a plan beneath the surface? What are the plans of Mr. Donald Trump? What is thinking? After this statement, people are asking only one question. Will the USA invade Canada? See, I'm not concluding that Donald Trump is definitely planning this. But through this message, I want every person listening to my voice to broaden their perception and thinking and to make it dynamic. For we don't know the truth, but God does. I'm presenting all the details coming through the mainstream media and whatever is happening as a responsible citizen it is a duty to be aware of everything, especially in the last days. Now folks, let us pause for a moment and reflect on what all of this truly means. Is this just politics as usual or is there something deeper happening in the spiritual realm? As believers, we cannot afford to look at these events merely through the lens of the world. We must seek discernment from the Lord because the times we are living in are perilous. Bible tells us in Matthew 24 verse 6 to 8, You will hear of wars and rumors of wars, but see to it that you are not alarmed. 
such things must happen, but the end is still to come. Nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be famines and earthquakes in various places. All these are beginning of the birth pains. So could it be that the unfolding political drama, not only in the United States and Canada, but across the globe, is a part of these birth pains? Look around you. There are divisions, schemes and alliances forming in ways we have never seen before. While some may laugh at the idea of a statement like Trump's being more than joke, as believers, we cannot dismiss the possibility of greater spiritual significance. The actions of world leaders, their words, and even their silence often serve as indicators of a shift in the unseen realm. Why did Trump choose now to make such a statement? Why did Elon Musk, another influential figure of our time, echo sentiments about Canada? Are these merely coincidental? Or is the Lord allowing these events to unfold to awaken his people? Mm. Ephesians 5 verse 15 to 17 urges us saying, be very careful, then, how you live, not as unwise, but as wise, making the most of every opportunity, because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the Lord's will is. But folks, I want to remind you something greater something very important here. In the grand tapestry of history, kingdoms have risen and empires have fallen. Mighty leaders, celebrated for their power and influence, have come and gone. Yet one truth remains unshaken and undeniable, which says, God has the final say. No earthly leader no government and no human authority can alter the decision made by the Almighty. His word spoken from the beginning of time stands eternal and unchanging. The prophet Isaiah declared in Isaiah 46 verse 9 to 10, Remember the former things of old, for I am God and there is no other. I am God, and there is none like me, declaring the end from the beginning, and from ancient times things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. When God speaks, His word is final. In Isaiah 55 verse 11, the Lord declares, So is my word that goes out from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but will accomplish what I desire and achieve the purpose for which I sent it. No code can overrule God, folks. No treaty can nullify His promises. When God says something, it is established. Consider his covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Though nations have risen against Israel, God's promise to his people endures to this day. His word concerning the Messiah was fulfilled in Jesus Christ, despite the schemes of earthly powers to prevent it. Indeed, we need to be alert. And this is not the time to be neutral. You cannot sit on the sidelines, indifferent to the signs unfolding before our very eyes. Matthew 24 verse 42 to 44 reminds us, Therefore, keep watch, because you do not know on what day 
your Lord will come. But understand this. If the owner of the house had known at what time of the night the thief was coming, he would have kept watch and would not have let his house be broken into. So you also must be ready, because the Son of Man will come at an hour when you do not expect him. But folks, staying ready does not mean living in fear. It means walking in faith, grounded in the truth of God's word. It means praying for discernment, watching world events through a biblical lens too, and preparing your heart and soul for the return of Christ. As believers, we must not be shaken by the turbulence of earthly politics or the ambitions of leaders. Yes, we may see corruption, injustice, decisions that defy God's command in the world. But our hope is not in the systems of this world. Our trust is in the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. World leaders may strategize and plot, but it is God's will that will stand. When you feel overwhelmed by the chaos of the world, remember that God is still on His throne. He is not surprised by the actions of men, nor is He anxious about the future, because He holds the future in His hands. So when the world seems uncertain and leaders appear to wield unchecked power, remember this, the hurt of the king is in the hand of the Lord and he directs it wherever he pleases. So trust in him, for his word is final, his decisions unalterable, and his kingdom eternal. Now please allow me to pray this powerful prayer now that will help you to connect with God and focus on God's eternal kingdom and not to be shaken or be anxious about the decisions that would be made by the earthly leaders in the future. So with all the faith in your heart, let us pray together. Heavenly Father, I come before you today with a heart humbled by your majesty and filled with gratitude for your unwavering love. You are the creator of heaven and earth, the Alpha and the Omega, the one who holds all things together. Lord, I thank you for your sovereignty and the assurance that no plan, no decision, and no power on earth can ever override your divine will. Father, I acknowledge that the world is filled with uncertainty, chaos, and strategies that can lead us away from you if we are not vigilant. I ask you, Lord, to quiet my heart and remove any fear inside it or doubt that tries to creep into my spirit. Remind me daily, Lord, that you are in control and that no earthly leader and no global event and no human scheme can thwart your plan, your perfect plan. Lord, I pray for wisdom and discernment in these challenging times. Help me to see beyond the surface of what is happening in the world. Let your Holy Spirit guide me into all truth, so I may remain anchored in your word and not be swayed by the distractions and the false narratives of this age. Open my eyes to the signs of the times, but let me not be overcome with fear. Instead, may I walk in faith, trusting in your promises. Heavenly Father, strengthen me to stand firm when the world shakes and quakes around me. Let my foundation be built on the solid rock of Jesus Christ, and may no storm of life or scheme of men ever move me. Father, your word says in Psalm 46 verse 1 to 3, God is a refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, 
though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of sea lord let this promise resonate deeply in my soul that i may never be shaken i lift up the leaders of this world to you lord as you have commanded us to pray for them whether they walk in righteousness or in rebellion i ask that you turn their heart towards you use their decisions even those made with selfish intent to fulfill your purposes and father if they stray too far i trust in your power to raise up and bring down according to your perfect timing lord guard my heart from bitterness anger and division that can arise from the decisions of earthly authorities instead fill me with your peace and love that i may shine as a light in the darkness and point others to you let my focus remain on the eternal kingdom not the fleeting kingdom of this world finally father i ask for your spirit to sustain me in these last days remind me daily that my citizenship is in heaven and that my hope is anchored in the return of christ let me walk boldly proclaiming your truth and living as a faithful servant until the day i stand before your throne in the mighty and unshakable name of jesus christ i pray amen